Hey everybody, Peach here, and I am excited to announce that I have partnered with Plate Snacks, the industry leader in weight plate decals, to bring something new to the market. The weight plate calibration stickers. Now these are extremely high quality, non-smudge labels that allow you to record the actual weight of your plates, as well as easily categorize them as being too light, too heavy, or good to go. Each pack has 18 yellow light stickers, 18 green good stickers, and 18 red heavy stickers for a total of 54 high quality, aesthetically pleasing stickers in total. All right, so let's cover why you should label your plates in the first place. So these two plates right here happen to have the most egregious amounts of variance in my iron collection. Obviously, they're both supposed to weigh 45 pounds, but this one right here actually weighs 47.6 pounds. So 2.6 pounds too heavy. And this one right here is only 41 and a half pounds. So it's three and a half pounds too light. Well, why does that matter? Well, let's imagine, for example, you were trying to lift 315. So all six plates, what if they were all 2.6 pounds too heavy? You wouldn't be lifting 315. You'd be trying to move 330.6. That's 15.6 pounds heavier than you would assume it is, and you wouldn't know it. And what if they were all like this guy right here? You'd only be lifting 294, so 21 pounds lighter than you would assume, and you wouldn't know it. And the worst case scenario of all would be one side, what if they were all like this, and another side, they were all like this guy. There would be an 18.3 pound discrepancy between the two sides, which could definitely prevent you from a successful lift and cause a potential safety issue. This is why we should weigh and label our plates. So to properly label your plates, follow these steps. Step number one, you need to determine what constitutes good, heavy, and light. Your gym, your rules. So for me, since most of the expensive plates out there typically have a 2% tolerance, 2% is what I'm using to determine those categories. But you can use whatever tolerance level you want. 2%, 2.5%, 3%, whatever you want to do. So I did create this spreadsheet, which you can download at designbuildlift.com, link down below. And all you need to do is edit the yellow cells, and it'll calculate everything for you. All right, step number two, now we weigh our plates. And I'm using this scale that I got off of Amazon, link down below to purchase. And you wanna make sure it's on a firm surface. So just go ahead and place your plate gently on the scale. And we're getting 47.2 pounds. All right, step number three. Now let's go back to that calculator and type in the actual weight, 47.2. All right, looks like we're gonna be using a red heavy sticker. All right, next step, now take your Sharpie and go ahead and just record the weight on the appropriate sticker. All right, next step, now go ahead and give your plate a good wipe down with a rag and then clean the area where you're gonna add your sticker with some alcohol. Okay, now let that alcohol completely dry and then we add our sticker. Now repeat this process for all your other plates, but not just your 45s. Also do this for your 35s and your 25s. Now regarding 2.5s, 5s, and 10s, I designed these stickers to be exactly 1.5 inches in diameter so that that value that you write right here is visible from a distance. Because of that size, I can't guarantee they're gonna fit all your smaller plates. Okay, now as you can see, they fit on my tens, but you know, not all tens are identical. And as far as my fives, they fit on these, but not these. And as far as my 2.5s, well, they're probably just not gonna fit. Now having said that, even if these smaller plates are a full 5% off, that's still not gonna to contribute to any significant weight imbalances because of these small weight denominations. All right, Plate Stacks Weight Plate Calibration Stickers, a great addition to any gym. To purchase, please click the link below to reveal my unique promo code to save you 10% 
off your order. All right, that does it for this episode, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to be alerted the moment the next episode drops.